I have a finger bun. I'm out of focus. This is what I get for focusing on food in my life. <laughs> the time has come. Hey guys, it's Caitlin and this is a vlog of sorts. I haven't done a vlog since my Harry Potter release vlog last year and that's probably the shittest video I've ever uploaded because there's no audio. The music just didn't upload with the video. <gasps> you can see like the top of my cat's head. Alright, so anyway, um, it is the 30th of July at the moment so that means that it is the first day of Booktubeathon. Now generally people would probably start this at midnight but I have uni classes that start at 8 o'clock in the morning um, so I didn't really have the energy in me to actually stay awake past midnight and do that. So it is currently 12.52 p.m. I just got home from uni a little while ago. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, every other year, because I think I've been on Booktube for a couple of years, but I've only, like, really started actively, like, uploading and commenting on people's videos this year. Um, so, yes, here we are. Um, and every other time I thought of doing booktube -a I was like, no, nah, like, it's so much stress doing the video challenges and vlogging every day, and I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to do it, but we're doing it because I'm actually so excited to do this right now. So the first book that I'm reading is Hunted by Megan Spooner. This is the book that I chose for the challenge that has green on the cover. Um, so I started reading this on the train on the way to uni because I think it's like half an hour to 40 minutes depending on if the train's delayed. So I do get in a fair bit of reading time. So at the moment I'm up to page 70. I'm actually really enjoying it so far. You have fun there just cleaning yourself in the background. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm not going to say anything because, like, <laughs> lol, spoilers. But it's just, it's so interesting the way that um, the point of view goes between the Beast and Yeva. So I was right in my Booktubeathon TBR that it's only ever one page from the Beast's point of view. So it might be like one page here and then it'll carry through onto the next page. Um, but it will never be more than just like one page. So it kind of still stands. I don't know, normally some books it takes a little while to reel you in, but I just, I became interested in this one from the very beginning. And I know that it's like, some people get a little bit annoyed when an author tries to make the like female protagonist not girly. So if they're trying to make her like a badass or something, sometimes they get a little bit carried away and pointing out, but I'm not like other girls. Like I do this. And it's like, it's not like that at all. The way she actually addresses herself is, it, I don't know. It's just, I find it very appealing because there's just one line here and it's not a spoiler. She says, I'm not gentle and wifely. I'm coarse and impossible. I'm not what you want. I like it. I'm really enjoying it so far. I feel like I'm really bad at this vlogging thing. I'm either rambling way too much or I'm just going to cut out a majority of this footage. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I don't know if I said this in the clip just before. I won't be doing the video challenges in my daily Booktubeathon vlogs. I just want to try and read as much as I can. Alrighty, so a little bit of an update. I've still got Mocha in the background here. I scared her when I came into my bedroom. Uh, it's currently quarter past four in the afternoon and I have taken a little bit of a break while reading. I was watching Australia's Next Top Model with my mum. So I'm on page uh, 153. I feel like if I really power through, I might be able to finish this at like in the early hours of the morning. <laughs> I'm just on page 202 at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. It's just, I don't know, it's not quite what I thought it was going to be, what I expected it to be. I think day one has gotten off to a pretty good start. Also, I just wanted to do a really quick thank you to everyone who watches my videos and who actually like enjoys what I upload because I was just looking and I know that it's not about the numbers or anything, but I've just passed 150 subscribers on YouTube, which I think is actually insane. Like, I still, I get so excited when I get... 
I felt the bed start vibrating. I still get so excited whenever I get a notification saying that someone has like liked my video or someone has commented on my video and it's just... <laughs> I can't comprehend it. I love it so much and I it's just the best feeling in the world to know that people actually enjoy watching what I'm putting out there. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to that because that's just oh my god that makes me so happy <laughs> well she heard my other cat being fed so she really doesn't want to be here right now not a happy chappy everyone this is my cat mocha by the way because i don't think i've ever introduced her please don't scratch me All right, update time. It just turned eight o'clock. I am so close. I've got like this much left. I'm in the 300s, so I've got less than 100 pages left. And I really just wanted to like speed up and finish, but at the same time, I really just wanted to like go on forever because I'm absolutely loving it. Like I love Yeva's character and I even love like the beast because reading from his point of view and just like seeing his character as well from Yeva's point of view, I just, I, I love all of the characters in this book and I just I love where it's going there have been a couple of times where my brain was like oh yeah it's definitely going this way and then it just completely got thrown off course and I was like okay clearly I suck at like theorizing but I'm in love the first day of booktubeathon is going so well and I'm so excited I just finished Hunted by Megan Spooner. I did not expect to love this book as much as I did. I mean, I thought that I would enjoy it, and then there were some times where I'm reading it, I'm like, yeah, it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I've seen it around in Dimmix, and I've seen it a couple of times on BookTube as well for ages, and I was just kind of like, nah, it's probably good, but I probably won't be that interested in it. Mm. <laughs> Like, it's been a little while since I found a book that I could just lose myself in. Alrighty, so I just got back from the gym. I think it's about 20 to 11 at night at the moment. And if you're wondering why it's like such different quality at the moment, that's because a cloud has passed over the good mood for Booktubeathon day one. Um, right after that last clip that you saw, I actually broke uh, my camera, which I am absolutely devastated about um so as soon as i finished filming because since i was sitting on my bed um i turned off the camera and i went to hop up and my foot kicked the front leg of the tripod and since i think one of the knobs was a bit loose so the legs actually caved in and they fell they landed like it hit my cupboard on the way down and since the viewfinder was out because i was filming it has completely snapped off the camera so it still focuses and everything like you can hear it whirring and you can hear when it focuses but you can't see anything and there's like a cable sticking out and i'm very concerned so we're trying to find a place where we can actually get it checked out to see how serious it is so this is what i mean like the viewfinder is supposed to be here it's completely snapped off and like the cable is just sticking out so i think everything internally is okay it's just this that doesn't work like I'm actually devastated. We found um, a place that specializes in Canon camera repairs. So we're just gonna see how much it'll cost to fix it. And if it costs too much, then I think I'm just gonna have to uh, save up for a while. I think this might bring a close to Booktubeathon day one. I'm not sure how I'll go completing Booktubeathon. I still haven't decided what book I'm going to be reading uh, starting tomorrow. This is so difficult. Which one do I want to read next? Book two for Booktubeathon, Alienated by Melissa Landers. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is just the main character is the first person to host an alien exchange student. Hi. No, I think I'm sitting too close for her liking.